Are you wondering how to remove duplicates in Smartsheet reports? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step exactly what you need to do. So as you can see here, I have opened up a report that I created ahead of time. Now, what I want to do in this demo is remove all of the duplicate product names. So if we look here, you'll notice that some of them appear more than once. So as an example, training service. So we want to remove those from this report. The best way to do that is to update the underlying data sheets that feed the report. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to identify where your data is coming from for the report. So I've set this up on a sheet which is very, very similar. And I'll show you that in a second. I've opened it up in another tab. But that's the first thing you're gonna to need to do is find out how the report is being generated. It may be that various sheets are rolling up into this report. And in that case, you have a little bit of extra work to do, I'm afraid. Nevertheless, open all of the data sheets up that is feeding the report. So for the purpose of this demo, I only have one. So I've done that ahead of time and I've done it in a separate tab. Now, if you blinked, you missed it, but here is the underlying data sheet. You can tell by the icon here, that's the report and here is the sheet, okay? So what we need to do is go into that underlying data sheet, find the latest column, right click, and then select insert column right. We're gonna call this duplicate check and press okay. What you're gonna to want to do at this particular stage is enter the following formula, equals count if, open parenthesis, range, so this is gonna be product name in this demo, an example, comma, and then this is going to be uh, this cell here. So I'm gonna do close parenthesis. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna remove these numbers because what I actually set up there was a cell range and I want it to be the full column. So what this is essentially doing, this, is, this, this formula, is it's saying, how many times can you count this text string in this, in this column here? Now that's something you're going to need to do as well. You're going to need to have a text string identifier. In this case, it's the product name. So you're going to need to have something to look for that is duplicated more than once. So I thought I'd just mention that. Now I just need to drag this down. So I've put that formula in here. I'm scrolling over to the bottom right of the cell, right click, and I'm dragging down. And you'll notice we've got numbers here. So training consultation appears once, solution build appears once, introductory call appears once, but there's a few others where they appear more than once. Training service, solution, optimization. You know, you get the idea. What we now need to do is save this. Make sure you save it. Head back into your report sheet and I'm gonna refresh this. Just wait for this to load. I've got slow internet by the looks of things. It should be quicker than this. Nevertheless, we now have got to this particular sheet. What you now need to do is set up a filter. So what we're doing here is we are going on filter criteria. No, sorry, I missed a step. We need to add a column. So two columns. Add in um, duplicate check. That's what we created in the underlying sheet. Press okay. You'll see the duplicate check here. Filter criteria, select field, duplicate check is, is um, we want to remove duplicates, so is not greater than one, okay? And it only includes one now, you'll notice all the duplicates have been removed. And then lastly, you're probably not gonna want this in here, so right click here and hide the column. So that is how to remove duplicates in a Smartsheet report. I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. If you're looking for Smartsheet training, become an absolute Smartsheet master and power user, there is a link in the description below for that. I've got various different courses which you may be interested in. With that said, best of luck and I hope you have an excellent day.